Hey there, Blue Oval Dude here. Today we're going to be finishing up on this NKB head. We're going to be doing uh, bowl blending, DIY bowl blending for the beginner. And uh, remember to keep things conservative. Also remember to hit that like, subscribe, and comment on the videos. So, all right. So I'm just going to break down what we're going to do here today. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be getting rid of this machining ledge that was created during the machining process. We're not going to do a whole lot to the intake ports here today. Um, we're just going to try and straighten out a few of the things. And of course, the short turn radius right here during the machining process. You left a nice sharp cut that all needs to be blended back and radiused in. So we're going to fix that issue. Also, another thing on this is, I'll show you on the NKB head, um, when they cast these, all right, when they cast these heads, um, if you can see that, there, there you can see that. It's kind of a ski jump right there. See that? Right in the push rod pinch. So we're going to go ahead and just eliminate that ski jump and just smooth that out just a little bit. So, let's get to work. Just bear with me, I'm just going to get this up here. Get the camera in position. All right, today I'm going to be working with this single cut carbide cutter, which is for soft metals. And I'll also be using, of course, sanding rolls. You can do all of this with sanding rolls. I'm just trying to speed up the process, get it done quick for you guys. So yeah, you don't need that, but it makes it quicker. So we'll get some light on the subject. And... Uh, Turn this back a little bit. Let me try this light. There we go. So right here is where we got that ski jump. So we're just gonna, let me put this up a little more, sorry. We're just gonna smooth out that ski jump. Nothing to it. Now I'm going to switch to my sanding roll. And we're just going to smooth that out quick and be done with that area. Remember that you don't want an intake port too smooth. Um, if you get this thing too smooth, uh, what's what can happen, especially with like a carbureted application or something like that, where it's not um, you know port injection, is that fuel is going to puddle up, and uh, you can get rich and lean conditions and some tuning problems. Something you really don't want to have. So don't polish this really smooth. All right. Um, you know, if you got any casting flash or irregularities or anything like that, just go ahead and 
buff that out of there and straighten that out. But that area is much better now. Alright, so now we're going to go on to straightening the rest of it. Alright. I'm going to switch back to that single cut. Remember to keep the tool moving. Don't stop and dig a big old rut. Doesn't take a lot of pressure, especially when you're working with aluminum. Just take your time and be careful, don't rush it. sides in a little bit. Backing this up so you can see what we're doing a little better. switch back to that sanding roll so I can do some of the finer tuning of what I want to work with here. Uh, let me see if I can get a little better view for everyone here. Sorry. Let me try this. So kind of some of the same techniques that I was talking about earlier. And when we were working on the exhaust side. Go back and forth and rolling that rolling that tool up and down this way. And just blending out that short turn.
get that area smoothed out. <laughs> I'm gonna switch this up. There we go. Yeah, I know I put that on backwards. <laughs> Sometimes it works to do this, and you can stay farther away from your valve seat there. <laughs> as I'm pulling that up and I'm pulling it up and I'm pulling out that transition that used to be there that that transition is uh, getting worked out. <laughs> I'm working this side because I want to make sure that when it's coming through where they machine this, that it's not stepping out past where they have that guide, I mean the, the seat insert. I don't want it going out at that insert and then going back in. I want to smooth this transition here. So that's something that I'm looking at. And over here on this side. Alright, so just to finish this thing up, I just finished uh, smoothing this thing out and blending that with the sanding rolls. And now I'm going to take the emery cloth and do the same thing that I did before. I've just got a hump up here that I am not happy with. And this is an easy way to smooth that out. Is just use some emery cloth and just work this in there. And you can just work that from one side of the port to the bowl. Oh, <laughs> drop the valve. To the other side of the port, 